What can I say? <laughs> People like things cool, like me. Yeah? Well, well, maybe I should heat things up for you, brother dear. And, and maybe I should knock you out cold. Hey, buddy, watch this. All right. Uh, I think we need faster tempo than even this Shinvala offers. Maybe we keep Shinvala just for evocation upside, but... Not a good hand. This is too fat, man. Ugh, this is what I was worried about. Fat hand is a kind of mid-rangey list here. All right. Happy to play a dude. Good that there's no side quest just yet from the druid. That's fantastic for us. Side quest, I think, is where they really, really triumph. Breath of Dreams is the other way, so it's not uh, not awesome. Firehawk's good, though. Definitely better than uh, Chinvala right now. <laughs> it's kind of... If he doesn't deal with this, he can a lot of ways, right? Like, even just coin Oasis Surger is now insane because of the Breath of Dreams. Like, he just clears both minions. He's happy. If this does get to stick and hit him, though, we might be in a good spot. Man, why did we lose so many viewers? Did somebody get online earlier or something? Jeez. We, um... We, like... Chinvala Spellwing feels fine. Just keep the, uh... Gears turning. Keep the damage flowing. Keep the Druid on the back foot. I don't even really hate that swipe, right? He swiped a 3-drop, basically. I still left some damage on board. It's all feeling pretty good. All feeling good. There, there was a Surger. I'm kind of shocked we didn't see that before oh he went with the 5-5 version of value trade oh interesting i did not expect to see that yeah i think we go hellbringer it's a little bit more uh consistent output here i think i got a trade on that sadly hopefully there's not a second swipe that's why i'm willing to make this line why hellbringer to test hellbringer it's a very high friction card in a minion based meta little weak against lackeys perhaps but very intimidating to a deck like uh druid right and big and druid in particular it, it just gets locked down by this pretty often it, where it just doesn't really have anything to do it plays a big guy and it just gets frozen right i think that's pretty cool i could try to kill this to protect my guys um I think I may use this Scorch uh, regardless because I'm probably always playing Animated Avalanche next turn. So I may Scorch this despite not actually killing it right now. Uh, just to set up for next turn or whatever. Like maybe, you know, or maybe even not next turn. Maybe an Arcane Missile somewhere way down the line or whatever. But I just want to spin that mana now because if I don't, I won't get to play it until the following turn. And I think it'll be unfrozen probably well before then, so... I have trouble with Winged Guardian right now still. Uh, it's just hard to trade into and stuff. Yeah, okay, we get it. <laughs> I said the thing and it happened. We know, chat. Chat, we all know, okay? <laughs> we get it, all right? Uh, I think we're happy to freeze here again. Now the Arcane Missiles uh, can test this really, really well. But also, we just set up for lethal, right? It's 14 and 6 is 20. So... Uh, if he doesn't resolve these, we're just, you know, just going over the top and doming him. Is it worth it, the new bundle? Uh, it just depends if you're buying cards or not. I, I didn't get a great result. It didn't, I didn't feel like it was a great purchase uh, after the fact, you know. I had a little bit of buyer's regret, personally. But it just depends on what you're looking for. How much dust you need, how many cards you have. There are some people who it will make sense for, and some people it probably won't make sense for. Strength of numbers a little late. This is still a problem, though. We probably have to fireball this. Hopefully we just top deck a fireball. <laughs> right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna arcane missiles and see what it hits first, I guess. If it doesn't hit this, we're gonna ping. Okay, we're gonna ping. That's a big deal. So I actually just have lethal over the top if uh, if he doesn't armor up. If he's armors up, I, it's a little bit harder, unfortunately. It kind of sucks because I I could envision an armor up, which means maybe there's an arg maybe there's an argument to ping face instead of the minion. But I don't know. There's like Zilliaxes and stuff, so I don't think you ever take that. You gotta kill the seven one, right? It just trades too well. These seven sixes are also lethal if they stick around, right? So I think it would he doesn't ping, so. Or doesn't armor, so we're good. Cool. Hey, if only that mattered. If only it mattered. I mean, dude, Arcane Amplifier coming in clutch. 
And a burn damage deck, I kind of dig it. I mean, we're we're looking to do damage, man. Beating him big and druid feels good. But he actually beat him big and druid at its own game too, which was like big mid game tempo minions. Big zone minion again. Shut up, dude. <laughs> God, I'd be so mad. Oh, I'd be so mad. All right, let's. Uh, I like this hand. This is good. Really good, actually. Yeah, we can go allies, coin, firehawk. I mean, ah, rogue is so good at dealing with firehawk. I don't think we waste a coin on it, actually. So maybe we just go allies and. Yeah, actually, what we'll do is we'll coin amplifier because that's a little bit better against a seal fate, and then we'll firehawk after. So that the firehawk is more about finishing the side quest than like presenting a threat, right? And this maybe makes the seal fate turn a little more awkward. Or he's not super pumped to seal fate. I mean, he may actually seal fate face, but I think he'd still want to hit the amplifier in this case, right? Frostless chain, it would be amazing, sure. Backstab means no seal fate, but he can SI trade. Or just do that, that's fine too. Uh, we're still playing Firehawk here to finish allies. Allies is obviously just way too strong to give up on. I don't think I'm trading there because I'm going to respect Witchy Lackey a little more than that. Plus, I think just face damage matters. I think the Firehawk's always dead this turn, no matter what. I don't think we're getting a sneaky Firehawk survive here. That kind of hurts, though. Man. That did not seem like a strong Firehawk, did it? Goodness gracious, that was sort of brutally weak, I feel like. Um, Hailbringer, not great against rogue weapons here. I don't mind getting a ping the out. The interviewer says, why would you make a good waiter at my restaurant? The interviewee says, I bring is good. a lot to the table. Pyro, Pyro, dude. That's how you announce your presence. <laughs> I think this two damage shipping up over time has actually been really good with Arcane Amplifier. Particularly against Rogue, who can have trouble with that, right? They may just eventually fall over. So basically, we used Evocate to, like, ping face for three. Which, you know, that's like a that's like a Frostbolt. It's a good card, right? Frostbolt's good. I guess you don't get the freeze, of course, but... Oh my god, is he going to double Vendetta? Oh, Eviscerate. Okay. Um, intriguing. Ooh, Black Mage is fun. I still am not super convinced that Hailbringer is an awesome uh, play against Rogue, so I think we're going to do this instead, and I think we're going to Scorch the 3-2 and just play a Spellwing, right? Ooh, that's good for our Frostbolt later. Okay. Down to 20. I only have 5 damage in hand, so, I mean, 20's a long way to go. We're kind of light on cards, despite hitting an Elemental Allies, which is crazy. I mean, I know that our allies is drawing generally light stuff, but still. This is good, though, because 6 going to the dome is pretty amazing here. I just finished a book about the greatest well, basement five, I guess, to ever exist. It was a bestseller. <laughs> I had to read that one. I had to read it, Pyro. Thank you for the 100 bits, man. Oh, my God. Do you guys, like, look up these jokes? Alrighty. Wand plus four mana is quite a bit of counter tempo. Just can we go over the top and get there, right? This is, like, eight, maybe. Not always, because this, you know, you don't know this really hits or not. A lot of lackeys, I'm sure this is going to get resolved at least to some extent. Serial Lackey's implying that maybe he's digging for stuff that he doesn't have. That's kind of a good sign, really. I mean, he might hit, I don't know, Fan and Knives or something that's annoying, but still a pretty good sign, I think. Pharaoh Cat also he's digging. Yeah, that's not good for him. It's good for us. Oh, that's weak. I don't care about that at all. Oh, he did hit the Phantom Knives, actually. Okay, that's a little annoying because our 1-1s one -one lose a lot of power. But ultimately, we're still... Um, Making some good plays. I, I think we just go Anomaly, Frostbolt, Arcane Missiles here. Frostbolt here, hit the face for eight. If, if I Arcane Missiles and ping face, if one of the missiles hits face, we set up lethal, right? If one of the missiles doesn't hit face, we don't set up lethal. Let's just see what happens. We can still play a Chinvala either way. 
Just need one of these to hit face. Just one. Okay. That's that's it. That's good. Um, I can actually ping a dude. Is he gonna heal ever? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to signal that we're really thinking about face damage here, because he might be more encouraged to play like a Zilliax or something. Eight mana Pyroblast that, theoretically, if he doesn't heal here, should be fine. We'll see if a Zilliax happens, right? Your wish is by Zephyrus gonna give him healing? Uh, what does Zephyrus give him here? Oh god, I hope it doesn't give him healing. Oh boy. Ten, I think, is the break point where Zephyrus starts to care about healing. Maybe, maybe it's under ten? Oh, thank god he didn't get Holy Fire. Oh my god. <laughs> he could have got a Holy Fire instead of a Fire Elemental, and that would have been a nightmare. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Scary stuff, dude. Scary stuff, but good win again, man. Just finding the breakpoints here, finding the wins is pretty awesome. Uh, Hailbringer, we could get out on three with Evocation. It is pretty powerful. I don't know how good it is against Mage specifically, though, right? Oh, this hand is way too slow. Ugh. We mulliganed for a faster start, not a slower one. Jeez. I mean, Evocation Avalanche is kind of cool, but it's not till turn five. Boy, oh boy. This one's going to be tough. Well, turn four, true, I guess, with coin. Fair enough, fair enough. Turn four, avalanche. Could be cool if we could line it up with um, an elemental. But we need elementals for that still. <laughs> you still have to hit the elementals, you know? Okay. In playing the new Hearthstone cards, well, kind of. They are made of paper and require you to tap lands to cast spells. I don't think that's Hearthstone. You're not playing the new Hearthstone cards. I think that might be called something else. There's like something magical about that one. I forget what it's called. Well, I guess we did it, guys. We set up the turn four animated avalanche. Um, that's going to be very powerful, I guess. It beats the crap out of a turn four mountain giant, I'll tell you. Oh my god, he's playing spell uh, hero power mage. I love it, dude. I love it. That's so cool. That's what we're going to do maybe tomorrow, probably. All right. That's really insane. So for turn four, I summoned a 14, 12, and drew, and drew three cards. That's not bad. I mean, obviously, that's a <clears throat> misrepresenting reality a little bit. But nonetheless, that's a pretty good turn, man. Four mana, 14, 12, yeah. He could probably deal with these in some way or another, right? Well, I don't think they're going to stick around forever. But that's okay, because he's using a lot of resources, and we're just playing more stuff and hitting face again, right? We're just going to keep rolling, so it's no biggie. Scorch is cool, but I, I think I just want to hit face. We got a ton of damage in hand. Like, he's probably going to answer this stuff with a blizzard or something anyway. It's no big deal, but... It's going to keep pressuring in case he can't. If, like, if a 5 attack hits face again, we're pretty much good to go, I think. Oh, that guy's a pain. That's a lot of freaking healing, dude. Still, though, he left 12 on board, man. I don't know. I think we're fine. I think we're okay. It's a pretty sick turn. I'm going to draw three more spells next turn, which are likely to be damage again, right? Uh, in fact, I'm actually not drawing three spells next turn. I'm only drawing one. Oh, no, but it's a fireball, which is really all I need. It's fine. It's no biggie. Uh, do we have lethal here ever? Just trade six and six and three is 15. I think we're one off, right? Can I kill this and get a lethal ever? Uh, no, I get an additional, I go to nine if I kill this, right? Which is the same as this, because I lose the pink face. Um, well, we just do this then, right? It's fine. What do we care? He's got to figure it out. He can't Alex Raza yet, so he's going to have, like, Kartot doesn't do enough. Because I don't have to kill it. 
Oh, I didn't play an elemental though. Shoot, I forgot to play an elemental. Oh, but he's just. Yeah, didn't matter. Did not matter. Put him on the break point. It's better. Miss Lethal should have traded in with the spelling. Oh, instead of. Oh, oh, you still traded in. Oh, I see. You still traded in. And then you can get to ping face for the one extra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you trade the one one so you can ping face and then you get one extra damage face. You don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, let's just stay on curve here, get out ahead. Um, the quicksand elemental might help me take a trade at some stage. Maybe next turn. I don't know. I think pretty unlikely, usually, the Breath of Dreams is happening on two, not actually minions. So. Uh. Should be good. To just play this anyway. Like to keep out ahead on minion tempo here so that we are able to trade up into stuff. I'm not ever here and neither is Dave. I'm not ever here and neither is Dave. That's probably a reference that I don't know. I always feel bad when I don't know the references. I always feel sad, like, oh man, I don't know that reference. I'm sure it's a reference, I just don't know it. Uh, fire hockey, yeah, it's fine. Uh, you know, if he wants to trade it over, that's no big deal. This minion does kind of go two for one, which sucks though. I'm not here and neither is Dave. Is that from The Office? I feel like I don't remember that. What is, I'm just going to Google it. Dave's not here. Dave's not here. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. It's one of those times I just don't get it. It happens a lot, sadly. It happens a lot. Alright, let's make him scared of the Shinvala. He shouldn't be, but he will be. There's no Dave in the office, so that's why I can't I can't figure it out. It's from Cheech and Chong? Really? Man, I haven't seen Cheech and Chong in forever. That would explain why I don't remember it. I always like Cheech and Chong a lot. I probably need to go back and check those out again. It's been a long time since I've seen Cheech and Chong. Like, probably 10 years or more. That sounds like a fun watch, though. Do we have to kill that? Probably need to. Gotta stay ahead a little bit. I, I imagine I would like Cheech and Chong even more now than I did long ago in my early 30s as opposed to my early 20s maybe not <laughs> i don't know maybe probably though probably uh but anyway power thanks to the bits dude i'm sorry i didn't get it i uh i have trouble with any kind of movie quotes anyway particularly old ones i haven't seen them in forever and that frizz is so strong dude i think i'm dead now oh i wish i could play you bro and I wish I could obviously kill that, but I can't. I can kill this, but it feels wrong. But it also, I just think I'm doomed if I don't. I just need him to have a whiff turn. Like maybe even an, maybe even like a Ysera or something would be a whiff, honestly. Because I'd stay ahead on tempo and this might be able to contest really well. The thing I don't want him doing is playing like six attack minions, you know? Well, those have five attack, which is kind of what I needed, to be honest. Um, yeah, okay. I think we're still in a big old pile of trouble because a swipe face here would own me, but or it'd swipe a minion maybe too if he figures out a way to trade it clean. Yeah, there you go. What's he gonna kill that with? Another scale boy? You already play two of those? What's that? Oh, a server, sure. Yeah, that's a game. That'll do her. He prioritized the non-targetable one. I think that's smart. Could try to just go face for 10 and dig for some fireballs, but that just never gets there, right? It just never gets there. Um, then again, I don't see any way to get there. I, I don't think we're ever getting there. Because he's not going to have any dead turns.
Why Arcane Servant and not Zephyrus? Because <laughs> I think 2 3 trades better. Uh, but it, it was just so unlikely for us to ever get to Zephyrus. If I thought we had any dream of getting to Zephyrus, like, yes, I, I would certainly value Zephyrus more, but I don't think we have any dream of getting to Zephyrus. Also, we have no dream of winning this game. We did beat this deck earlier, but, you know, they didn't hit the Frizz earlier. The Frizz tempo is just insane. Luna seems good in this deck. Uh, I don't know. We, I don't really think we've ever had a card problem, honestly, until this game. And, and this game is really just born out of inefficiencies. We're usually ending the game before we run out of cards. There's actually quite a bit of card draw if you look closely. Like, Elemental Allies draws you a ton of stuff. And you got Bonfire Elementals as well. Even as a backup plan, so... This has been an atypically low card game. Don't let this one game sort of uh, color your perspective. <laughs> As Rachel said, I can't really um, take viewer decks. There's just like a million people who want me to play decks. I get I get legit like two to three messages a day anytime there are new cards. Maybe actually more like five a day. Which is fine, I don't mind you doing it, I just can't, you know, I, I literally, it's impossible to keep up with all of those requests. So don't feel bad if you send me one or whatever, I just can't do it. Okay, it's, it sure checks me on, um, resources, we're, we're like really out of cards already. This makes my turn too good, almost regardless of anything else. Like, just getting extra chip damage through is really nice. Particularly when the hand is looking rather uh, chip damagey, anyway, right? Seal Fate here doesn't contest this either, which is nice. Like, if he seals Fate, I'm just hitting for another 5, which is pretty much the dream. I even get the Spellwing as well. That might build into a Chinvala off the Arcane Missiles. This is an interesting game to see what uh, FK. Oh my god, eating the sap. Interesting. Okay, now I think I play the Chinvala just to spook a little bit. Like, this is scary now all of a sudden. Well, no, maybe not, because I still don't really have the follow up. So, yes, it might spook them, but I don't really ever have the punish anyway, so. Okay. I think accurately decided they couldn't really legit take five more damage for free just like that, so. Good decision. I wonder if this is like Phenom the pro E player. Isn't Phenom like a. I know there's Pheno, but I think Phenom is also a pro player if I'm not mistaken. Or has been or used to be or something. I'm not saying he's a has been, I'm saying he has been a pro player. <laughs> Dude, relax, chat. Relax. The Voter Maniac finally getting through this, but you know, it, it basically it, it got 10 damage in the meantime, which is everything I ever wanted, right? That's perfect for it. Sadly, this hasn't died, so outside of using Elemental Evocation to ping my own minion, even that doesn't work actually because of... Um, yeah, that just doesn't work actually. Do we just play the Tempo Chinvala? It has been a little hard for my opponent to resolve these things. It seems like they're stretching pretty far to kill stuff. So that may remain true moving forward. The, the challenge is if I do whiff on this, I don't really have anything else going for me, right? So there was maybe a world where I played a Quicksand Elemental Ping instead, but just not enough pressure really. So I'm going to take this and try to hope that it works next turn. I'd really love to get a 5-5 five, five out of this, but if not, you know, we played a Chinbala and that's fine. So, uh, 6 damage in hand, 7 from Fire or Ping, that puts us down to 11 needed. Any kind of Lackey here that gets it there? Kobold Lackey, Goblin Lackey... Oh, just going for the witchy like So Chinvala is alive. That's great news. So now we can go for the 5-5. Five, five. I guess we're scorching the carry-on Drake, even though it feels sort of terrible. We could maybe use the Chinvala to trade into it, which also doesn't really do what I want it to do after quicksand elemental, that is, right? 
to do. Um, all right. We're definitely doing some combination of this stuff. I'm just going as big as we can here. If this doesn't kill the, the Drake, I'm very sad, right? That's no, okay. Great news. All right. That's a good turn, certainly. We are out of cards, but we made an insane turn. Still technically got a little face damage through in the meantime. Um, we could see a Togwoggle here with a Lackey, but there's no wand or anything yet. So, you know, we'd be hitting face very hard. I'd almost be relieved to see a Togwoggle, to be honest. I think it's going to happen. He's going to try to swing next turn, which you got to do sometimes. Unless there's like, a, we can't double prep, so I don't think there's any way to deal with all this. So 8, 10, 16, 17, I think is just lethal, right? It's like lethal to me. Cool. Good win. Nice, man. We uh, definitely played kind of like maximum efficiency there. I, I could have spent every if I played the if I played this out we would have spent every single mana point to to perfectly resolve a lethal uh, by turn like six or whatever that was seven I guess maybe.